Hello. Hi, Nestor. Good evening. Good night. How are you? Hi, teacher. I can... I think. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining on time. We're just going to give everyone a few minutes to join. All right. Let's just wait for a moment. And this is our last week. Excellent. I see Briselda just joined. That's cool. Awesome. Good evening, guys. We just have four days left, or I mean, three days left. Si no contamos el día de hoy, that would be three days left. Excellent. I see that Christian just joined, Marta just joined, both Christian Molina and Christian Castro just joined. That's cool. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. Perfect. Good evening, guys. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining, guys. Let me go ahead and share my screen. All right. So, hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. I have a question. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh huh. Como proceder a. Vamos a. Let's go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. 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 Sure. Excellent. Now, guys, we are finishing off section five. Can you believe it? We are at the end of the module, guys. Ya estamos a solo tres días de terminar el module. Remember, guys, that we should, by now, be working on section five. Ya ahorita ya todos deberíamos estar trabajando en section five para uh, poder terminar la plataforma in three days. Remember that we have to finish the platform by Thursday, the 17th, para el 17 de diciembre, que es este jueves. So, yeah. Remember that super important, super important that um, you have that finish so that you can go on to the next. Will be which will be intermediate one. All right. So, how are you doing with the platform, guys? ¿Cómo vamos con la platform? In which section are you? In which in which section are you guys of the platform? Section four, teacher. All right, cool. What about the yes, rest? Yes, we teacher. Perfect. Excellent. Awesome. What about the rest? Yo ya lo terminé también. Excellent, cool. All right, guys. So 
Si estamos aún en Section 4, intentemos avanzar lo más que podamos en estos días porque sí tenemos que tener terminada la plataform para el día 17, which is on Thursday. Es el jueves, guys. El jueves ya terminamos este módulo. Ya solo nos quedan tres días ya sin este, right? So, that'll be it for us, which is so cool. Ya pasarían ustedes a otro nivel que ya es el de intermedio, which is so cool. And you will learn a lot of new interesting things. But for today, el día de hoy, vamos a estar reviewing. Mm -mm -mm, here we go. We're going to be reviewing questions with the past to be. Si ustedes recuerdan, en la clase anterior comenzamos a ver los statements with the past to be. Now we are going to review the questions with the past of be, was and where. And we are going to be doing an exercise based on that. And also we are going to be reviewing some pronunciation rules about the contractions of negative um, sentences or negative words. For example, weren't, uh, wasn't, entre otras, right? Y remember, guys, que si tienen alguna pregunta at any moment, you can tell me so that we can work those out, right? And we are also going to be doing a reading. Vamos a estar haciendo un reading para um, practice, right? Practice pronunciation, all right? And we are going to be doing that reading in groups, all right? In breakup rooms. Right now, veamos, right now I do see that we are, one, two, three, we are 10 people. I see Marta, Ale, Griselda, both Christians, uh, Rocio, Jennifer, Nestor, and Nubia. All right, excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Yo sé que ya es la última semana en que ya estamos que es Navidad y que ya hay muchísimas cositas. Veo que ya se unió Denny and Marlon. Thank you so much for joining, guys. So, um, yo sé que ya estamos con muchas cositas encima y con mucho, con el tiempo encima. But, um, después ustedes están off para uh, your celebrations, right? For um, your Christmas um, celebrations and Christmas Eve celebrations. Uh, and the New Year's celebrations. Y ya en enero comenzarían su program, the Intermediate One, which is so exciting. Les prometo en Intermediate One se ven cosas muy, muy, muy interesantes. So guys, we are 12 people right now. All right. So, and it is eight with... Eight minutes, ocho minutitos, ocho horas con ocho minutitos. All right, and it is Monday. And tomorrow, Tuesday, it's the 15th, which means, que pagan, which is always great. Now, guys, so, solo hagamos un pequeño recap antes de empezar con el tema de hoy. Vamos a hacer un pequeño recap de lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita en la section one. Uh, the name of this section was, what are you going to do? And we learned on how to use going to. Remember, the most important part of the verb uh, is the, the most important rule of this, como con todo lo demás, es que si ya lo conjugamos, el siguiente verbo va en infinitivo, igual que el did, igual que el resto, right? Vimos las diferentes reductions of going to, que ustedes pueden llegar a escuchar gonna, para decir going to, I'm gonna go for a run, right? Vimos algunos holidays in the U.S., vimos algo bastante extendido de los holidays in the U.S., Actually, look, 
I just bought this a Dollar City. Pero me pareció súper interesante y dije que se los iba a mostrar porque si ustedes lo, lo quieren, lo pueden comprar, lo compré en el Dollar City. It's too, it's super great, está super organized. Um, y tiene todas las holidays and important dates, right? No tiene solo las holidays um, tradicionales, que son como las que vimos nosotros, sino que tiene todas las demás holidays que se celebran en otros países. Like which ones, for example? Como cuáles? Tenemos, por ejemplo, las celebraciones católicas, right? The, also the Chinese celebrations, las, um, las, las chinas, también la, um, hay festividades um, como Hanukkah, que son judías, right? Hay algunas aquí que son islámicas y que son paganas, right? Como el solsticio de verano, de invierno, todo eso. Y están uh, también, um, well, the regular American holidays, right? The, las norteamericanas, right? Y están todas, como les digo, las católicas también. Por ejemplo, están, um, o las latinas, como por ejemplo el 5 de mayo. 5 de mayo, que lo celebran bastante allá, por toda la cantidad de mexicanos que hay allá, right? So, yeah. Está también el miércoles de ceniza, for example, which apparently next year va a ser eh, on February 15th. Va a ser el 15 de febrero y así. Están todas esas celebraciones. So that's really cool. Vimos ese tema de los holidays in the U.S. Now, vimos también... Uh, how to make WH questions with going to, right? How are you going to go there? Where are you going to go today? Right? Vimos también special occasions, like graduations, weddings, um, what, birthday parties, anniversaries, Uh, what else? Dijimos, um, baby showers, etc. And we did a reading on that, right? That was what we saw on section one. Basically, we learned uh, how to use going to the reductions of them, and our vocabulary was about celebrations. Then in section two, The name of the section was, what's the matter? And here we learned something super interesting, which was parts of the body. Y vimos uh, diferentes partes del cuerpo, no solo las más uh, regulares, right? Sino que también algunas más uh, no tan comunes. Escuchar, for example, nape or eardrum. Do you guys remember what eardrum was? ¿Se recuerdan que era eardrum? Yes. What was Tinkle. it? Correct. Yes, excellent. Etc. In all of those, right? También aprendimos algunos vocabularios sobre medicamentos o um, words that I thought that could be useful to you, right? For example, nurses, the types of nurses, types of doctors, los tipos de doctores, etc. Right? Uh, the, the types of medications, ¿se recuerdan los que eran um, over-the-counter medication? Aspirin. Mm -hmm. Los medicamentos que podemos comprar sin receta, right? Over-the-counter. Excellent. And then we learned how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective. So when you have a noun, you have to say, I have an agenda, for example. I have an agenda and I feel sick or I feel sad, right? Adjectives and usually emotions, you feel them. Y las cosas se tienen, 
right? Now, um, we learned also about imperatives and orders, right? And 10 simple ways to improve your health. That was the reading of the section. So we basically learned about um, medical conditions, body parts, etc. And how to say how we feel, como decir como nos sentimos, right? Then in section three, we had our midterm test, if you remember, which I hope que, espero que ya todos hayamos hecho el midterm test. Um, and in section three, we learned about places and things and the pronunciation of compound nouns. Eso lo vimos rapidito, right? Cuando son dos palabras. For example, uh, post office, bus station. Y que no debemos detenernos tanto en eso como post office o bus station, sino hacer una sola. Bus station, post office, right? We learned about prepositions of place, que ustedes ya las conocían, in, um, inside, next to, between, across. And once we had that information, cuando ya teníamos ese vocabulario, oh my God, it's raining. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Uh, we learned how to give directions. Por si ustedes en algún momento tienen que ir o están con alguien que habla inglés aquí, ustedes tienen que poder saber cómo guiar a alguien, right? So, we learned how to give directions, how to tell people how to get to a certain place, right? Cómo llegar a lugares. And our reading for the section was about that. Y nuestro midterm test que traía de toda la section one, two, and three. Then, most recently, más recientemente, most recently, we reviewed section four. When we talked about things that we don't like to do, and we started reviewing the past. Empezamos a ver el, a ver el past with regular and irregular verbs. Con los regular verbs, vimos las diferentes terminaciones que pueden tener el ED, que tienen tres sonidos, right? The T sound, the D sound, and the ED sound. For example, ¿qué, tiene, qué verbo tiene una terminación en T? ¿Alguien que me dé un ejemplo? That's correct. Excellent. ¿Qué verbo tiene una terminación en D? Cold. Cold, correct. Cold tiene una terminación en D. Cold. And what verb has an ending with ED? Needed. Needed. That is correct. Needed. Escuchamos needed. Escuchamos el ED. That is correct. Excellent, guys. Ya veo que de verdad nos quedó súper claro eso. Excellent. Y recordemos que eso es con la práctica, right? And we also reviewed irregular verbs, which are those verbs that um, we don't just add ED at the end, but um, we have a completely different word, right? For example, which one? ¿Qué ejemplo me pueden dar de un irregular verb? Go. I'm sorry? Went. Go. Oh, correct. Go, ¿cuál es el pasado? Went. That is correct, excellent. Another example. Awake. Eight. Awake, and what is the past of awake? Awoke. Perfect. Escuché otro por ahí. What was the other one? Eat, ate. Eat and ate. That is correct. Irregular verbs, todos aquellos que we have a completely different word for the um for the past, right? Go went, awake, awoke, eat and ate. Perfect. Veo que sí nos quedó super super claro. It's very simple, right? Now, we also learned 
uh, simple past, yes or no questions. Yes, I did. No, I, no, I didn't, right? And our vocabulary for this section was summer activities, things that you can do in the summer. And we did a reading on some people's weekend stories, lo que ellos habían hecho el fin de semana, right? And finally, we are at section five, guys. Isn't that cool? Ya nos acabamos todas las sections. Ya solo nos queda acabarnos la section five. It's gone very fast. So, right now, guys, ahora sí, vamos a continuar con las questions with the past of B. Antes de que lo hagamos, ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de alguna de las sections anteriores o de lo que vimos anteriormente que fueron los statements with the past of me? Any questions? Nope. Yeah, yes, teacher. Um, yeah. uh, había una de la um, section four donde... No sé, el, to, eh, para poner el, el working, eh, el to work, eh, la puse de diferentes maneras y no me dio. El, ah, un knowledge check. La bate. No, ajá, es, es el eh, 4.4. 4.4, ok, 4. let's review. Es, um, I not work very hard on Sunday. Okay, let's review right here. Sunday. Which one? Este? Yes. <laughs> ¿Y cómo lo hemos puesto? ¿Cómo lo he puesto? Uh, le puse, uh, uh, did not work it. Work it. No. Ah, ok, pero remember, si ya pusimos de, el verbo siempre va en infinitivo. Remember, guys, this is very important. Didn't work. Didn't work, that is correct. Una vez colocamos didn't, o incluso si colocamos did, ya que este verbo ya está conjugado porque el verbo en infinitivo es do, una vez ya conjugamos un verbo, los demás verbos van en presente o en infinitivo, right? Que es lo correcto, pero en presente podemos decir so, didn't work. No podemos decir esto, no podemos decir didn't work porque no podemos hacer un doble pasado, right? Sino que ya está esto en pasado, esto nos indica el pasado. El verbo va en presente. ¿Podemos probar así? No, siempre me da error. Debe ser el apóstrofe. Sí, tiene que ser. Esto sí hay que fijarse bien. ¿Es el apóstrofe o la tilde? O si no le da el didn't, intente poner did not. Did not work. Porque a veces sí ponen tilde en lugar de apóstrofe, ¿no? ¿verdad? Ok, creo que era eso, sí. Ya, yeah. ok, perfecto. Y la siguiente, lo mismo, right? Did not study. Study en presente porque una vez ya colocamos did o didn't, el verbo siempre va en presente. Perfect. ¿Pudimos eh, resolverlo? Sí, thanks. Awesome. Perfect. Excellent. Any other questions, guys? Yes, no, no, no. no. Yes. All right. Okay, no problem. Very well. And I do see that we are 12 people same amount of people so no problem let's go ahead and continue showing let me just 
put this up. Um, mm -mm -mm. I want to close this. And perfect. There we go. So we are going to review these questions with the past of B. Ya sabemos que el past of B is was or where, depending on the pronoun, right? Hagamos un review de los pronouns and what uh, past of the verb be you should use. For example, I, was or where? Was. was. Perfect. You. Was. You were. Was. Was. That is correct. You were. What about he or she? Was. 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 Correct. What about they? Where, 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 that is correct. And we? Where, 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 that is correct. Y it, sabemos que siempre va aquí con was. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and read some examples, okay? Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have half the people, no problem. Mm -mm -mm. Or we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, lo vamos a hacer así para que podamos leer todos. Vamos a leer lo que voy a ir encerrando. All right, so uh, Marta, can you help me read this? Were you born in the U.S.? Excellent. Yes, the U.S. Perfect. Now let's go and read this section, Ale. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Correct. Now let's read this one, Briselda. Was your brother born in 1984? Perfect. ¿Por qué was your brother? Porque se dirige a un él. Correct. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent answer. Now let's read the answers. Uh, Christian Castro. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. That's correct. Now, Christian Molina, let's read the question. Uh, were your parents born in Lincoln? Excellent. And let's see, me están escribiendo un mensajito en el chat. What's going on? Llueve super fuerte el internet fallando. Okay, no problem. Thank you for letting me know. And let's read the answers, Danny. Hello, Danny, are you here? All right. Excuse me, me, teacher. Yes. Sí, sí. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, yes, they were. No, they weren't. Perfect. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, let's continue. Ooh. Yeah, let's continue with this one. Uh, esto está cortito, leámoslo todo. Let's read this one, Rocío. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. Korea, excellent. All right, now let's read this one, Marlin. When was he born? He was born in 1985. Excellent. That is correct. Veo que cada vez leemos más rápido los años. I'm super glad about that. Me alegra un montón escuchar eso. And let's read this one, Nestor. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Excellent. 
All right. Perfect. They were born in Seoul. Excellent. Escucho muy, muy buena pronunciation. So I'm very happy to hear that. Y también escucho lo de los años, que los estamos leyendo mucho, mucho más rápido. I'm so glad to hear that. No tienen idea cómo me alegra porque eso sí es algo que lo van a escuchar súper rápido. So if you can say it fast, then that's good. And that means that you've been practicing. So I'm very happy to hear that. Los felicito mucho. Now, ¿qué podemos ver? Were you born in the U.S.? Nos están preguntando a nosotros, right? So, si me preguntan a mí, yo voy a preguntar, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't, right? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las preguntas que son con otros verbos? Que con los otros verbos vamos a responder, yes, I did, no, I didn't, right? Pero con las preguntas que sean with the past of be, meaning que vamos a usar. Where? O was. Por lo tanto, con ese mismo verbo auxiliar, vamos a responder. Yes, he was. Or no, he wasn't. Con esto, significa que si nosotros queremos, les podemos dar más información, right? Uh, for example, was your brother born in 1984? No, he wasn't. He was, oh my gosh, this is too big. He was born in 19, ooh, 1989, for example. Le podemos decir nosotros si le queremos dar más información. O, oh, yes, he was. Uh, he is, um, what? ¿Qué edad tiene si, tiene si son del 84? That is 47, right? 46. Yes, he is 46 now. No. 30. 30. 36. 30. Oh my God. ¿Qué pasó, matemática? Wow. All right. Eso es si nosotros les queremos dar uh, más información, right? No, he wasn't. He was born in 1989. Ahí corregimos a la persona. Oh, yes, he was. He is 36 now. Right? Ahora él tiene 36 años, right? Eh, Ustedes pueden leer que siempre ponen um, he is, por ejemplo, he is 36 years old now. Este years old, y gramaticalmente sí es necesario, pero digamos que en la vida real no se usa tanto. Si yo me presento, Hey, how old are you? Me puede preguntar alguien. ¿Qué edad tengo? Hey, how old are you? Yo le puedo decir, ah, oh, I'm 20. I'm 25. I'm 28. I'm 20. I'm 15, right? I'm 30, 35, right? Es, lo, es más común solo decirlo así, no más. Pero por si alguien les dice, no, pero lo correcto es decir 36 years old now. Sí, gramaticalmente sí es lo correcto, pero realmente ya en la vida suelta. No lo van a escuchar tanto. So, es probable que escuchen, yeah, he was. He is 36 now. Right? Y es importante que aprendamos a reconocer de quién estamos hablando. Where your parents born? ¿Cuáles son your parents? Mis padres son ellos, right? Mis dos padres son ellos. So they, they were, right? Was your brother born in 1984? ¿Quién es mi hermano? Es él, right? So he, yes, he was or no, he wasn't, right? Para que sepamos usarlo no solo para nosotros mismos, sino para contestar por otras personas. Any questions about this, guys? No. No? All clear? All right. Sure? Of course. Excellent. All right, guys. In that case, 
let's review. Boy, here. Ya se nos acerca el final exam. Ya lo vieron. As usual, just six sections. Lo vamos a ver el jueves. Um, let's continue with the pronunciation section. All right, and then we are going to practice. Esto es bien cortito. And then we are going to practice with some reading. Ay, yo veo que algunas personas dicen que ya terminaron, pero no veo las discussions, que completemos las discussions. Discussions are also good to practice, guys. Si pueden completar las discussions, complete them. A ver, let me check right here. Okay. All right. So, for this one, guys, solo lo vamos a... A escuchar, right? Vamos a escuchar las pronunciations. Share computer sound. There we go. Escuchamos las pronunciations para que cuando digamos las formas negativas, los digamos de la manera correcta para no escucharnos cortados, right? Nuestra meta es escucharnos lo más nativos posibles. So let's go ahead and listen. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing... All right. Vimos las pronunciations de las negative contractions. We have one-syllable contractions and two-syllable contractions. ¿Qué significa esto de las sílabas? It just means que las que son de one syllable, las decimos de un solo, right? Aren't, don't, weren't, can't. Y las que son de two syllables se oyen un poquito más cortadas. For example, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Escuchamos como los dos sonidos. Algo así como las terminaciones de ed en los regular verbs. Algunas se escuchan y otras no se escuchan. So, aren't. Don't, weren't, can't. Las decimos de un solo, right? Aren't, don't, weren't, can't. Y las de two syllables, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. No es que las vamos a decir más lento, sino que se ven los dos sonidos, right? Is that clear? Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. I see Ale, thumbs up. Perfect. All right, guys. This is bien simple, right? This is just pronunciation. Y esto es practice. Esto es con mucha practice que se logra la pronunciation. So, because of that, igual esta semana, que es nuestra última semana, we have to practice a lot. Sé que ya somos menos, sé que algunas personas ya no se están conectando, but... We, a los que estemos aquí, vamos a practicar mucho para mejorar pronunciation y asegurarnos de que hemos comprendido todo, todo, todo lo que hemos aprendido hasta ahorita, right? So, guys, right now, we are going to go off to break up rooms en los últimos minutos que nos quedan, and we are going to practice. We are going to be practicing the past of B. Some questions, some readings, and some other things que yo les voy a ir pasando Per group, let's see, we are 13 people. Así que we're going to do just four groups of three participants each, okay? Entonces nos vamos a ir a los breakup rooms y yo les voy a ir a dejar unas activities para que las hagamos between today y un ratito mañana. Um, 
so that we can work on that, practice pronunciation and practice um, the vocabulary, right? That we have, y los pasts of B. So let's go ahead and click on join breakup rooms. Demosle en join breakup rooms y vamos a trabajar en eso. Ya se los voy a llegar a enviar. See you there. All right, Denis, Christian, and Jennifer, let's go ahead and click on join breakup rooms. Oh, teacher, I have a problem yeah. because I what don't have, I don't have an invitation for the makeup rooms. Mm, ahorita la vuelvo a enviar. Let's see. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay. Thank you. There you go. Perfect. All right, Denny, let's go ahead and click on join breakable. Okay. Hello, I am here Hello, to teacher. do the exercise. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Nice. And that's great. All right, guys. So this is the exercise that we are going to be doing. Se los voy a compartir. This is the exercise we are going to be doing. Le puede, you can screenshot it. Le pueden dar screenshot or you can um, download it. Yo en este momento se los estoy enviando también en el chat de aquí. Lo tienen que descargar mientras yo esté aquí en el room. So you can go ahead and do lo que sea mejor para ustedes, right? So I just sent it. Aquí está en el grupo, or you can screenshot it. All right, y en esto okay. vamos a trabajar estos minutitos. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, Ali. How are you? Oh, Hi, guys. I'm good. Thank you for asking. This is the exercise that we are going to be doing today, guys. In estos minutos que nos quedan. And basically, what we are going to do is we are going to transfer the sentences que tenemos en el presente. We are going to write them in the past. Las vamos a escribir en el pasado, right? Así como en los ejemplos. Ustedes pueden screenshot it. Le pueden tomar a screenshot ahorita. O ya también se los envía aquí al chat de Zoom. And you can download it. Tienen que descargar mientras yo esté en el room. Ok. Excellent. And if you have any questions, me pueden llamar con el botoncito or um, you can just wait for me to come back. All right. Ok. Perfect. I'll be back. Hello, how is everyone? Hello, teacher. Hi, Noya, how are you? I'm okay, gracias. Excellent, I'm glad to hear that. All right, guys, so this is the exercise that we are going to be doing today. You can screenshot it, le pueden dar a screenshot, 
o también ya se los envié aquí al chat de Zoom. So you can download it. We have 20 sentences in the present. And what we are going to do is transfer them to the past. Así como en los ejemplos, right? I am late. I was late. Are they hungry? Were they hungry? Tenemos sentences and questions. Y así lo vamos a trabajar. All right? Y se lo podría mandar al WhatsApp, por favor, porque se me yeah. hace más fácil. Sure, sí, ya le voy a mandar ahorita un minutito. Perfect. And if you have any questions, uh, you can let me know. Y yo uh, vuelvo aquí para ayudar. All right, ahorita ya lo mando a WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Hello, how are you guys? I am here to give you the exercise that we are going to be working on. Se los estaría enviando aquí al chat de Zoom y también ya lo voy a enviar por WhatsApp. So basically, what we are going to do is we have 20 sentences in the past, in the present, I'm sorry. Algunas son preguntas y algunas son sentences, right? And what we are going to do is we are going to uh, transform them into the past. Así como en los ejemplos. We have I am late, or I was late, right? Using the past of B, que es lo que hemos estado bien. Was or where? Y así estaremos haciendo. All right? Yes, thank you. Awesome, excellent. Igual ya se los voy a mandar a WhatsApp. And if you have any questions, you can call me with the button. O igual ya estaré de regreso en un ratito. Perfect. Let's get to work. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Was it what, what was that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería su so, was was entire. Ajá, was My holiday is my holiday was nice. Mm -hmm. My holiday was, was nice. My holiday was nice. Mm -hmm. And like, like, where you're happy? Why were you yeah. you happy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the pen was blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was the winner. I was the winner. Um, I was the winner. I was. Mm -hmm. Was the answer correct? Okay. Okay. And who who's who was sick? What? Who? What's it? Mm -hmm. Sí, porque tiene un is, tiene que ser.
La siguiente sería, why is he late? Sería, quiero ver, ahí sí es pregunta. Entonces sería, she es, es where, ¿verdad? Ella. No, no, es, no, what, es was, what? es was. Ahí sí sería was al principio porque es pregunta. Ajá. Sería, sería, sí. was, sería was, was she, she ¿verdad? Was she? Was, eh. was, was she, she late? late? Yo también me complemento este libro. ¿no? Was, uh -huh. was she is late? O, o, porque ahí dice why, 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 why is she late? ¿Por qué, verdad? Uh -huh. Porque llegó tarde. Uh -huh. Porque llegó tarde. Entonces ahí sería was el she was was she was solo was she late sin el is sí verdad porque está cambiando Ajá. De la estructura sí sí es cierto sí. entonces sería, solo was sería she was late. she late uh -huh. Ajá. la pregunta uh -huh. was she late la otra sería la cinco Ajá, ahí no es pregunta. My brother is a doctor. Sería, ahí sería, my brother. Sería was también. Was. Ajá. Así sería. Sí, porque él, el mismo ejemplo que está andando en la clase. Uh -huh. My brother was a doctor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería. ¿Están de acuerdo? Ahí creo que sí, en vez de my brother, creo que podría ser was he. Podría ser, podría ser he, he was. Ajá. Pongamos he was. He was, ajá, sí. sí ajá. Marta, ya no escucho. o was it was was eh, ahí sí ya el me lick, el, lick, el lick me cuesta un poquito todavía sí eh, quiero ver cómo sería ahí no sé si se podría poner pero no verdad porque ar es de ser el, el eh, sería ah, del otro, de la otra forma, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que creo que el word sería... sustituye al ar en pasado. Ajá, cabal. Where, where are your books? ¿Dónde? Where, y where oh. is an ar. Claro, siempre. Y where was, where was, where was. No porque tiene que ser al principio, ¿verdad? Ah, es que como ah, where es otra forma de pregunta. Sí. La w. Ajá. 
Así sería, ¿verdad? Ajá. Bueno, dejémosla ahí y le pregunté. Sí, sí porque sí, porque no, sí. no está estoy raro. segura. Ajá. Where are your books? Hola. Hello, guys. Were you able to work on the exercises? Sorry. ¿Pudieron trabajar en los exercises, guys? Yes. 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 Excellent. Perfect, guys. And did you finish? No, teacher. Yes. Tenemos el number nine. Number nine, okay, let's review. Number nine, where are your books? All right. ¿Cuál sería el pasado para are? Uh, we have was and where. 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 That is correct. Where. Entonces diríamos, where were your books? Excellent. Thank I you. Of course. A veces decimos, mmm, se oye raro, pero al final es lo correcto, right? Where were your books? Excellent. All right, guys. So, it is 9 p.m. No les quito más de su tiempito. Mañana vamos a seguir trabajando on some exercises to make sure que estemos súper seguros, right? De como cositas así. Que estemos súper seguros y no tengamos dudas a la hora de decir, uh, where you, was she, etc. So uh, that would be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.